Hi. When I got out of prison, you know, I had to find a job. I had to find a place to live. I also needed to open up a bank account. And man, I'm down at this halfway house. I found a job washing dishes, but they gave me a paycheck and uh I didn't have a bank account to cash it at. And uh, you know, I was in check systems, I had fraud alerts showing up, I couldn't open a bank account. And uh, I knew about these green dot money cards or twelve ninety five a month, whether you used a card or not, you know. Uh, so I went to a check cashing place downtown San Francisco. There was ten percent to, to for a four hundred dollar paycheck. They took forty bucks. So I, I got a great offer for you because I found out about this Chime card, and uh, this is one of those Chime Visa cards. Um, I got an offer from Chime. We can both get 50 bucks. If you open up a Chime account, I get 50 bucks, you get 50 bucks. Let me tell you, this card has no fees whatsoever. If you want to take money out of the machine, no fee, no charge. Um, if you got zero money on the card, no charge. 500 bucks, five bucks, doesn't matter. Um, you can order the card for free. Click the link below in the description. The card will come in about a week. It doesn't cost you nothing. You don't have to have no money on the card, anything like that. I mean, you get 50 bucks when you get the card and load 200 bucks on it. Tax season's coming. Have your tax return sent on there. Try the card one paycheck and get that free 50 bucks. We both get 50 bucks. If you need a check written to your landlord, it's free. The service is free. This is everything a Visa card will do. And if you use your Chime card for six months, they will send you this green chime card and with this green chime card it's a credit a builder card so every time you buy something or use this card it builds credit so i've been out of prison a little over a year so six months after i got my green card guess what's in my wallet i got a capital one real credit card now all thanks to chime so 50 bucks for both of us it's totally free Click the link below in in the description. Order that card. It's so easy to do. It's it. This is a perfect card for getting out of prison. Perfect card for anybody, really, because there's no fees. They don't ever charge you anything. So you can have this card for life. That's my life sentence. I'm doing chime. Thanks, guys. Hi, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a little different today. I'm going to talk about this guardianship scam. That's been brought to my awareness. Uh, I've got some articles, some news clips about people that have been sentenced to 40 years in prison for doing this to old people. It all started when I watched this movie last night called I Care A Lot. It's on Netflix. And uh, it's based on these legal guardians. Um, it's, it, apparently this is nationwide. This goes on in every state. And uh, it's so corrupt and it's so scandalous. I need to bring it to your attention. Um, there's a lot of things in this world that really get me upset. Uh, sex trafficking, kitty porn, all that stuff. Oh, just burns me. I didn't know this was going on with old people in uh, in in the uh, in, in in this industry. Um, so this movie uh, is about this lady who's a legal guardian, and what she does is she has her little scouts that go around and they find these uh, older people that uh, live by themselves, have houses that are, you know, they own or partially owned, um, have some money in the bank, have worked all their lives, and, and now they're alone. Sometimes they have children, but the children really aren't in the picture. And what they do is they prey on them. They, they, they get somebody to, um, well, they get a doctor to agree that this person's, mentally unfit to care for themselves then they go to court and 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 the the person that they're going after doesn't doesn't even know this is happening it's kind of like that grand jury you never get invited to your own grand jury trial um so i'm going to show you some news clips about it so this uh in this movie very disturbing movie uh it's called i care a lot uh if, if you can if you can watch it I thought it was going to have a happy ending. It had a twist to it. Um, the lady that 
This lady gets stripped of everything. There's a knock on the door. These two women are there saying, we're from the courts. We're here to take you out of your house today. We're going to put you in a con convalescent home. And uh, and they do, and they got cops outside and everything, and they take this lady to a convalescent home. Uh, within hours, they're back at her house, rummaging through her dressers and drawers and putting price tags on her furniture, stealing all of her jewelry. They go to her bank. They get her safe deposit box. They take everything out of that. They sell her house. They got her in a convalescent home. They take her cell phone from her. They drug her up. They put her in, in a room and, and leave her there. And uh, her her children can't visit her. Nobody can visit her. She can't make any outside calls. She can't ever leave the convalescent home until she dies. And this is all legal. And, well, without further ado, I'm going to show you my first news clip here. Uh, bear with me here. So this is uh, uh, what they did to a 92-year-old man. And this lady finally got caught. Thank God. Here's this clip. A Pinellas County professional guardian is facing charges tonight, accused of stealing more than a half million dollars from an elderly man that she was supposed to be taking care of. ABC Action News I-Team investigator Adam Walser joins us now with how investigators say this all happened. Adam? Well, Wendy, investigators say Tracy Hudson had a man sign a power of attorney agreement permitting her to manage all his affairs. They say within 10 months, almost all of his money went from his bank account into hers. This is professional guardian Tracy Hudson at the Pinellas County Jail Central Booking, charged with exploiting a 92-year-old man under her care. Investigators say after the man's daughter died, Hudson had him sign a power of attorney agreement, then proceeded to pay herself $541,000 from his bank account. She paid herself over $1,600 a day to be a power of attorney. I don't know what she could have done to earn $1,600 a day. She managed in the space of nine months to drain every dollar out of this man's estate. But investigators say her bank records show where she spent the money. Buying tickets to Tampa Bay Bucks games, purchasing clothes and jewelry from department stores, and closing on this new 4,800 square foot, $600,000 home back in May. She didn't answer the door when we tried to talk to her today. Hudson is president of the Pinellas County Guardianship Association, which is supposed to promote professionalism in the guardianship industry. Earlier this year, we covered another guardianship case involving Hudson, whose last name was Samuel at the time. One of my responsibilities is to make sure I'm spending her money effectively and carefully. At that time, Judge Pam Campbell praised her. I know Ms. Samuel to be a good and professional guardian. I have, she's on a number of the cases that I have. On Friday, that same judge ordered a hearing for next week to determine how to protect the 31 wards Hudson currently has in Pinellas County. What message do you think this will send out? I think this brings to light the corruption that can take place uh, when elderly people are taken care of by people who are not their relatives in particular. I think all of us are growing older and we have to be concerned what's going to happen to us. Hillsborough County Courts are also reviewing Hudson's guardianship cases. We reached out to Hudson's attorney for comment, but he has not yet called us back. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you. So that lady has 31 other uh, wards. They're called wards of the court that she uh, has control over. And there's another lady, April Parks. She had old, she had hundreds of them. The movie I care a lot. This lady had hundreds of, of, of old people that she preys on. And you know what? The judges are just as corrupt. The doctors and their convictions bringing to an end what Chief Investigator Darcy Spears started nearly four years ago. The most significant guardianship exploitation case in Nevada history. Guardians have a duty to protect their wards, not steal from them and destroy their lives. But four people violated their duty, becoming financial predators and betraying the trust of some of the most vulnerable people in our community. With today's guilty pleas, it becomes official. The Guardian and her gang are guilty of exploiting the very people they were court appointed to protect. And Mary, are you making these pleas for your volunteer? With that, Former private professional guardian April Parks pleaded guilty to a total of six felony charges. They include exploitation of an older person, 
theft and perjury. Plea agreements were also entered by her husband, Gary Taylor, business partner Mark Simmons, and Noelle Palmer Simpson, one of several local attorneys Parks used in her guardianship cases in Clark County Family Court. The next was a provision of unnecessary services. Lawyers with the district attorney's office spelled out what they could prove if this case did go to trial, including multiple billing scams, charging for unneeded services, and what became known as the Christmas gift scheme. That's where Parks would buy small gifts like popcorn or socks for the elderly under her watch. They then directed their staff to drive to these various protected persons living facilities and drop off the small gifts for the privilege of receiving the gifts which were never requested, the protective purchases were charged an hour delay of over $100 per hour. Family members of some of Parks' victims talked to us in court this morning. It's a good day. It's just bittersweet because um, there's so many victims of, um, from April and from her associates. So it's just um, a bittersweet victory. They're asking for the maximum sentence when Parks and her co-conspirators come back to court. And when you do so many things to somebody over and over to the elderly people and you commit these crimes, are the alleged crimes that she's been convicted of, isolation, over medication, double billing, then yes, um, she needs to go away for a long time. District Attorney Steve Wolfson says this will set the bar for addressing guardianship abuse nationwide. So it sends a strong message that if you are supposed to be taking care of people, taking care of them physically and taking care of their financials, uh, this sends a strong message that if you steal and you take advantage, you're going to be prosecuted and you're going to be punished severely. Sentencing is scheduled for January 4th and April Parks faces a maximum of 84 years behind bars. If you'd like to. So, you know, uh, these guardians, uh, it's really easy to become one. And I looked on YouTube where they got workshops for them and everything. And it's like a two week certificate course and they get the certificate to be a guardian. And then they just got to go out and, and find their prey, you know, and, and they got these bird dogs. They got people who work at title agencies and if oh here's a person that owns a house they're 82 years old they live alone you know let's go get them you get the doctor to sign the paperwork that they're unfit um and then they put them in what they call protection care and you got these judges uh apparently these judges are family judges family court uh, they're, they're i read an article that they're truck drivers they're construction workers they're farmers that they took a course to be a family law judge and 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 they're working right along with them and and, and the doctors are scandalous it's a big racket and uh it's billions of dollars so when you get old um and if you got nobody watching your back i got a 90 year old aunt and uh, she's got three sons my cousins and they visit her all the time and i visit her and i talk to her all the time and if she didn't have us because her house is paid for, but you know, she worked all her life and she's 90 years old. That all could be taken from her. These, these people, these, these guardians, um, you know, I don't like to see people go to prison. I want to see them go to prison. I, I want to see, I want to see sex traffickers go to prison. I want to see child molesters go to prison. I want more than that for them. But uh, this is something I, I was not aware of. I've heard about uh, elder, elder abuse. Uh, but this, I mean, they're putting these older people in, in a prison that they, okay, I had more freedom in guys. prison than they do in these convalescent homes. Let me show you another uh, news clip here. It is considered one of the most serious cases of elder exploitation in Nevada history. It is a case that 13 investigates has been following now for years. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George was there as the defendants heard their fate, as well as the emotional reaction from their victims. Isolation, theft, entire life savings depleted. Abuse is so horrific, it's gained national attention, making Southern Nevada one of the worst examples in the country of how seniors can be treated. Our investigations are driving changes in the guardianship law, and today, a judge echoed that in a hefty sentence. April Fox is a predator of the worst kind. One after another. I still have nightmares about what happened. I endured more than three. Victims and families destroyed by April Parks sharing their stories. Everything had been taken away. I was stripped of everything. 
Just a few of the hundreds of cases where Parks and her associates were court-appointed as guardians, like Rennie and Rudy North, forced into assisted living as Parks drained their bank accounts, isolating them from their daughter Julie. I couldn't wrap my mind around the evilness of her soul. I've never experienced such a cold-hearted person in my life. Rennie now has cancer and was too sick for court today, but Rudy was there, saying he's lucky he made it out alive when he says many others died under Parks' watch before this day came. I once questioned her the defendant about how she felt about these deaths that she's accelerated. And you know what her answer was? You're born with an expiration date. The most shocking revelation, multiple urns found in a storage locker containing the ashes of some former clients. Parks defending herself, saying through it all, her heart was in the right place. Things could have been done better and differently. But at no time was anything done with an intent to harm. I truly had a passion for guarding You're people. You're lying. I truly cared about these people, as did my staff. But the judge didn't buy it and had a brutally honest message for Parks before doling out her sentence. I cannot fathom how you think that the actions that occurred at the hands of you did not intend to bring any harm to anyone. These people that have scotch taped their shoes together, these people that are being charged for getting Christmas gifts, these people that don't have food to eat, how is that not bringing harm to them? In the end, Parks received the maximum of 16 to 40 years, something victims' families say sends an important message. But they feel more work needs to be done to reform the court-appointed guardian system that's supposed to help protect the vulnerable. We're not living back in the dark ages. There's no reason somebody should be kidnapped out of their home. So why would that be acceptable in a courtroom? So there needs to be newer laws. But today, they say this is a step in the right direction. This is such a long journey, and being going through this, we're all scarred. But it's encouraging. Let's just say that. It's encouraging. Now, Parks' business partner Mark Simmons and husband Gary Taylor both received maximum sentences for their roles in the scheme. Now, we did reach out to their attorneys for comment, but they either declined. They really need to go after the judge, the lawyer, the doctor, all these guardians, all these guardian agencies. Um, I just really want to bring up awareness, guys. That movie's called I Care A Lot. If you can handle it, it's, you know, it's one of those movies that's just going to make you uh, want to do something. Uh, I just can't believe this goes on in our country, and, and, and it's legal, and it's borderline legal, but it's wrong, it's immoral, it's ethically wrong, it's just, I, I had to make a video and make you guys aware, um, so uh, thanks for watching my videos, guys, uh, see you next time.